Apologies. Transplanter broken. Mini me device. Human Michael Wave. I I apologize if I startled you. I I assure you, I'm of no harm to you. I am Orneith, a Bacock from the planet Kawaga. My work engine's vessel seems to have experienced a failure as I passed by your world. My line of work is very similar to the human occupation of geology, but in my spare time I enjoy studying humans' history and culture. Terra, or Earth, as your species has designated it, is a wildlife sanctuary to the rest of the galaxy. One of only few worlds filled with life that hasn't been destroyed, well, uh, yet. My own world, Bukta, didn't understand the importance of preserving their own world until it was too late. Now over 70% of our species require breathing apparatuses to even survive past infancy. I realize that saying a lot of that most likely doesn't mean much to you, but I am very focused on the survival of all species. I just don't want you guys to end up like we did. I apologize for rambling. Do you have a name, human? Well, it's nice to meet you. Broken fucking piece of shit. Again, I apologize. Since humans are not yet within the Outer Worlds Galactic Council, your dialogue isn't in the official... Translator units. Oh, yes. This little device hanging from my neck is my translator. They're worn by most species around the neck, but there are some more head-mounted versions out there. I believe they're similar to what you humans call jewelry. You see, this side translates your speech, and there are some speakers that are worn like human earrings. To my species, though, earrings are worn as a symbol of a, well, a, a mating pair. So we choose to wear ours as cochlear implants within our ears. And since Batak have a higher body temperature than most other species, we're able to use thermal generators to power them. So we don't really need much work done on them, 
which is kind of amazing. <laughs> yeah, that does mean I am, as you would say, single. My field is mostly dominated by those of the same sex, so... Meeting a new buckto can be a bit challenging, especially with how busy I've been with my research. Have humans explored Mars yet? R Rovers! Those terrifying machines that roll around on wheels? Yes, I have encountered them on my research. I had assumed they were some form of evolved wildlife at first glance. However, our scans have revealed their origin to be Earth. There was a long period where Earth was unwatched by the Council, and during our absence, you guys finally decided to step up your technology. It's very impressive. I congratulate you, human. Soon, your species should see the stars firsthand. <laughs> you had nothing to do with the human innovations. But doesn't your species excel at pack-oriented projects? Oh, my, I... My, I, I apologize. I'm sorry to have assumed. There isn't really much known about humans, so... I based my information off data I had seen. I had no idea your entire species was specialized in all types of areas. Yes, typically other species will put all their effort into a singular advancement of their civilization. We're taught from a young age the importance of machinery and technological development. Over 75% of my species is specifically focused on developing new technologies. I tend to be a bit of a black sheep within my culture. Did I use that human expression right? Good. And with so many of my species looking forward, I feel it's important for us to look at our past to find issues and solutions for our new issues. That is something I love about my job, recording and identifying the different types of historical data within the layers of planets to discover their civilization stories. <laughs> well, I am already writing a report on Earth and the other planets within the system. Oh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, I cannot place you in the book. I'll be unable to transcribe our conversations. It is outlawed by most species, including my own, to interact with developing species. I am technically breaking intergalactic law just by speaking with you. I attempted to contact a towing ship after my crash, but my signal's all messed up and I can't get in control with anyone for some reason. My radar might have been damaged in the crash. I know how bad it looks, but... Honestly, this isn't that bad of a wreck. I was mostly unharmed in the crash and was able to get outside before the fire suppression systems kicked in. Speaking of which, they should be turning on now. Let's check... Ah, perfect! Working just as intended. As for your yard, I do believe I can help. You see, my species is capable of chloromancy. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I can't will plants on my own, but I do possess gear in my craft with capabilities of terraforming planets. I'm sure with its setting on minimum, it can help fix your yard up. I'll even repair the crash site and fill it in for you. I, I do really feel awful about scaring you and damaging your property. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I do have one more question for you, though. While I work on repairing my ship and getting in contact with the Council, will you allow me to stay in my vessel in your yard? Oh, thank you, human. 
If I can do anything to assist you during my stay, please let me know. I'll be out back working on my ship and getting it under some cover. I'll have to use some type of hologram on it to make it appear as something a bit less eye-catching. Your species works in cycles, correct? Yes, like being more active during daylight hours. I shall come back and greet you during the morning. Until then, stay safe, human.